previously on McFly Angler. <laughs> Whoa! I took a trip out to Six Lakes in Utah to fish some amazing trout and caught quite a few of these powerful fish. I was also able to get a bass and mark off a bucket list fish for me, the tiger trout. Yeah. Now I'm finishing up my amazing trip on the San Juan River in New Mexico before heading back home to Texas. Guys, this is a good one. Come on. No, no. Let's not go down there. Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I am down back at the San Juan finishing up my absolutely amazing trip. I came here, fished the San Juan, then drove out to Utah and fished um, Six Lakes for a couple days. And then now I'm back here. This will be my final day fishing. And then I head back home to Texas. I am not used to the weather, by the way. My lips are so chapped. They're like purple, um, bleeding. It's, it's bad. I'm, it's been a long time since I've lived here. I've lived in Texas, kind of made me soft, I guess. Um, not used to this uh, dry, dry area. I'm gonna get out there, see if I can't catch. I've got, again, my Risen uh, 23 PS rod for weight. Um, it's great for this uh, river. Um, they also make a three weight that is a 10 foot that I think would be even better. I just don't have one. Um, I plan on getting one at one point, but I'm gonna be fishing a um, little size 24 midge to a 22 red annelid right there. That's my pattern, the one that I came up with. And we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna get out there and try to fish. So guys, it's a little windy, not as bad as it was last time, um, last Sunday when I came. It is windy, so we'll see. Hopefully there's not a ton of people down here at Texas Hole. Oh, well, looks like I'm not gonna be fishing Texas Hole. This guy in the boat just like right there kind of leaves that spot unfishable. Let's see where else I can go. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna go up here on this side. They're fishing that side. I'll get on this side. A little harder to cast when you're kind of back casting, but I can make it happen. So the fish here on the San Juan are pressured. They're used to lots of people fishing, and this would be considered a light traffic day for this river. The fish are so used to seeing people, you can actually fish them in plain sight of the fish. The one thing that they do get very picky on, though, is the size of the fly. Their main food source here are midges. Very small bugs. Smaller than any fly you could tie. So you have to fish tiny, tiny flies in the 24 to 30 range to get them to bite most days. Problem is, it's very hard to land fish on a size 24 hook and 6 to 7x tippet. Ah. Well guys, I hooked one, but he got off. So I moved from that spot to find a more secluded section of river in what is called the braids. Well, I'm gonna try this. This used to be my favorite spot. Oh, I see a, a nice trout, real nice. I don't want to scare them off. After looking for fish to bite and not being able to get any, I finally got a taker. Got one on.
Nice. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Okay, bud. Oh, good. Quick release. Beautiful. Almost like a... I think it's a cutthroat. It looks almost like the coloring. No, it's a rainbow. It's just a... There we go. Actually, a fish later in the day made me think that this could possibly be part cutthroat. That was a decent fish. After that fish, I went to the back side of the river, near what is called Big Rock Hole. A couple really nice ones right here. Like, definitely 20 inches, if not plus. Let's see if I can't get them to bite. I need to get a little deeper. Yeah. Guys, this is a good one. Come on. No, no. Let's not go down there. A little fly too. No. All right. Boy, I can't budge this guy, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's right there. You can see red markings on the gill. This made me think that rainbow trout are now being hybrid bred with cutthroat on the San Juan. Wow, that is a good, really good trout. Good, there we go. Now he's free. All right, guys. That might be one of the biggest trout I've ever caught on the San Juan. Yeah, it, the hook fell out before I brought him in, like right when I netted him. So I don't know which one I caught him on.
probably the red annelid. That one's definitely my go-to pattern here. I feel bad kind of, I drug them a little bit over the rocks here, but no way I was going to land them. He was going in those rapids. I had to get him out of the rapids. Where he'd go? All the way down to these guys. Would have tangled with them. It wouldn't have been good, so. I had to do what I had to do. Did my best to make sure he was as healthy as possible. Beautiful. Nice big trout. I, I'm very, very happy. Well, there's two guys hooked up over there. One just brought one in. The other guy's still fighting. It looks like a good fish. Oh, he lost it. Texas Hole was way too crowded to fish, so... Might be going down to Munis. I think that's what I'll do. There's less people there, usually. This is the right move. There is just no one here. Got one. Ah! Right out, pulled right out. Happens so often here. It's because you're using such tiny little edges. Let's see, what do I got going here? Still got both the flies, so I didn't break off. It just kind of pulls right up. Yeah. Gotta be careful. I set that a little hard. So I don't want to lose this guy. Let's get him over here. Alright, let's just tire him out for a second. This rod works really well, guys. It is stiff, but it's got enough bend to it. Really good nymphing rod, even for these small little. Ooh, is this a. That's a brown, guys. I think this is brown. Yeah. Quite sure. Yep. Not there yet. Come on. Ah. All right. Slow down. Yeah. Got brown, guys. On my red annelid. It's a nice fish. All right. This beauty. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. He goes. Always so much moss. I mean, this is, I guess, what feeds the bugs and all that, so that's why the San Juan. I mean, granted, this is a very busy, overfished fishery, but you can still come and catch fish. It's a good one. I like, I like the San Juan. It's not a fishery that I would want to fish every single day. It's kind of like once you fish it, you fished it. You know, but it's been a while since I fished it, so I'm enjoying this a lot. All right, let's see if I can get back over. This was a little deep right here. 
All right, let's go find another spot, guys. What do you think? This is a really good one. I think it's another brown. Yep, it is. Eh, it's not all that good. It seemed a little bigger, it looked a little bigger. Oh, he's taking me down. No? There we go. Nice fish. Oh, came loose. All right, let's get him back in the water. Oh, he's right here. Come on. Wow. That's uh, the first. Hook went through the rubber. Well, you use sharp hooks, right? All right. Let's try to get another. Well, that hole died and no more fish were caught. So I started making my way back to the car, but saw this fish. There is a really nice trout in here. I don't know if I'll get him. I saw him for a minute, now I don't see him. I think he saw me and went deep. We're sitting close to the surface. Well, I couldn't entice that one. It's getting pretty windy here. I'm gonna head in. It's hard to fish in the wind. I've got a few of them right here though, right at the entrance here. Big hole, so they like to sit there. But this wind is really bad. I mean, you can tell it's choppy. We got some white caps going, so I think it's time. Head in. So I had a good time. Boy, my lips are like cracked and oh, they hurt. Anyway, worth it though. I had a good time. It's only 1.30, not even. And I caught tons of fish. I'm happy. This whole trip has been amazing. Um, you know, it started off slow with the San Juan the first day. And, um, but after that, I was catching fish left and right. So it's been a real good trip. This was one of the best trips I've ever taken. The fishing today on the San Juan was great, but also the fishing in Utah was absolutely amazing. I couldn't ask for a better week of fishing. I wanna thank Bob who invited me to go to Six Lakes with him. And also my cousin Justin who let me crash out at his house a few nights. It was great spending time with both of them. So as you all know, I am sponsored by Risen. However, I was the one who approached them for sponsorship because I love their gear so much. They have some amazing rods, reels, and other gear at unbeatable prices for their quality. For instance, the dry fly rod I used in Six Lakes only costs $99, and it is every bit as good as rods I've used that cost three to four times the money. Best of all, I was able to negotiate a discount for all of my subscribers. 
So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for an additional 15% off of everything they sell. Their great prices got even better. So if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you will be notified when I make more videos. Also, please help me out and click that like button. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. On the dry fly, guys. There he goes.